Hello everyone. So in this video, we're going to do uh, a recursion example in Python. So we have not done this uh, before. So, and actually in this one, uh, we can accomplish the same thing with two for loops, um, nested for loops, but we will, we will use recursion instead. So the basic uh, idea for this one is um, you input a name into a function and you have each of the letters be printed out at the number of times it it's found within the the string so the first letter gets printed out for one time second letter gets printed out two times and then third letter gets printed out three times and so on for the length of the string and uh, i will have a few examples um so yeah let's get started um first we're going to do uh call our def uh, call create a function We'll call it print name, and then input a name. Uh, in order for this to work, we need to traverse through the the name. So we need to call basically it's called a helper function. Helper function in recursive. So if you have a recursive function, you can call a helper function, which would then uh, call you know within your original function. You can call with another parameter right so and then we'll pass in our index basically we're going to start from zero and then traverse all the way to the length minus one and then once you hit length you know you're going to break you know break out of the um, return out of the function so we'll just call the print name number because basically it's the character uh at of the string so the name is to start it off. We'll start with zero. So now we have to go ahead and write the the function. So print name number, and then we'll call name received, and then uh, we can call it. Uh, we'll just call it n for the number for the starting number. So basically, uh, we need our base case. Uh, base case is when you want to return out of this. So our base case is going to be once you've uh, once your index is passed uh, hits the length of your um, string. So we want we don't want to print out anything at that point. So we're going to do if n equals length. This is how you get the length of the string. So you call length and then name received. And then we're going to return. So basically, yeah, just uh, end return break. Um, return is uh, basically we're not going to return anything. Uh, we're just going to be printing something. So just doing a return will just end the end the function. So uh, what's interesting in, about this one is we're going to do a for loop, right? A for loop, and then but then we're going to do it recursively, a recursive for loop. So and do for i in range and this is important so we want our first letter to print out exactly one time uh, which and we're passing in a zero which if we use range range at zero it will not print so zero in range zero it won't print the first letter so we have to be careful we have to write um we have to put in our n plus one. There we go. N plus one. So zero in range to one, right? So it's going to print out one time. So that's 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 important here. So in what we need to accomplish. So we're going to print our string name received, and uh, we'll put in n index. So that's the character. And then we want to print on the same line. In order to print on the same line, we just have to add in this uh, end equals, and then empty st empty string. Okay, now this is the interesting part. So this is we're going to call the same function again, and we want to print out the next letter. So we're going to call the same function. So we're going to call it self print name number. And then same string. We're not doing anything with the string, but we are advancing the our index, uh, the character, which we want to print. So we're going to call n plus one. Okay. 
So that's very, I mean, we'll see how it will do. So we'll have some couple of test cases. So we'll comment, uh, comment this test cases. Uh, print name. So we call our original function, we call this guy. And then uh, it will call this um, function below here. So print name, and then I'll do my name. Run them, add in them, and run, run here. And then, yeah, so then we have A appears once, R appears twice, I appears three times, N appears four times, and keep going, keep going, keep going. And then M appears eight times. So, yeah, so it behaves as expected. And what's interesting is that um, we are doing it with recursion here. So we are rec uh, calling the function itself again um, another case we can do print name, put in Shivani. Shivani. Um, we'll run, hit run again. Oh, so this added to the next thing. So let's uh, comment this guy out and run it. So S once, H two times, I three times, V four times. A five times, then I seven times. So yeah. Uh, another one. I'm gonna round it off so we'll have three cases. So print name. We will do. So for this one, we'll do. Uh, we'll do. What name would be good here? So we can do Alan. Alan. Run it. A. So then the L appears twice. The first L appears twice, and then the second L appears three times. The and then the fourth E. There's four E's, and then five N's. Yeah, so this was uh, implementation of recursion in Python. Um, it's very, recursion is very, very fun topic um, and a little bit more challenge on the challenging side. Uh, definitely this could be done with the nested for loop, two for loops. Um, but this is, this is one method, you know, like uh, this is another alternate method uh, in accomplishing the same thing. Um, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, any comments, suggestions would be really helpful. Um, thank you and see you in the next video.